Bruce Feldman every year puts together this freak list, right? Top 50 freaks of college football. The <laughs> ACC littered with a bunch of them. Uh, we're now joined by one of those dudes, Jalen Camp from Georgia Tech on board. Jalen, first of all, good morning. We appreciate you joining us. Yes, sir. Good morning. I thank you all for having me. Uh, so, all right. So you're one of the top 50 freaks of college football. How does that make you feel? Uh, it's definitely an honor uh, to be recognized, but, you know, it's something that, you know, I couldn't do it did without my dad. You know, and it's crazy strength staff that we have here at Georgia Tech. <laughs> well, you talk about the crazy strength staff. Lewis Corral is, uh, he's all about it, man. I mean, the stuff he puts on social media is one thing, but in, in living color, it's a, it's a whole different dynamic, isn't it? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Just, just seeing the energy he comes in, you know, and forces us to have the same energy each, each and every day. And, uh, you know, he goes through our workouts two or three times before we even run it one time. So, you know, he, he knows how to push us. All right. So, Jalen, I'm sitting here reading 6'3", 225, um, 30 reps at 225, 20-inch biceps. Well, why'd you let yourself go during the pandemic? What happened to you? <laughs> why'd, I let, why'd I let myself go? <laughs> um, uh, I think the pandemic was actually a good situation for me. Um, just kind of, especially when school ended, because, uh, you know, towards the end of it, we still had school online. But, um, you know, once school ended, uh, it was, you know, I was just all, you know, honed in and focused in on, you know, making sure my body was straight for the season. And uh, my dad, I was under the household of my dad, you know, he had, owns a gym, so we were going to work out, you know, twice a day uh, for probably like five days a week. So I had a good situation. You have always been a physical presence as a football player, even when you were first recruited and came to play for Coach Johnson. Uh, and I know your dad's had a big influence in you becoming a, quote, physical football player. Um, now that you found kind of your comfort level at wide receiver a season ago before you got injured and, and missed the back half of the year, what was that like? I mean, to, to kind of see all of that work that you've put in from a physical standpoint then combined with some on-field success? Uh, it, was, it was great to see. Um, you know, just – you know, the physical aspect of the position is one thing and, and, and you know, the mental aspect of, the, of film watching and all of that is another thing. So just kind of seeing it come together uh, last season in my first four games, it was definitely cool to see. And, I, you know, I, I definitely plan on building on it and, you know, building on the team success this upcoming year as well. Um, it, it's uh, funny to me, you know, you're working out twice a day, you're in great shape, you're ready to go for football, ready to rock and roll. And here I am reading about the fact that you love to watch Netflix. I mean, what do you squeeze all this in in a 24-hour day, man? Uh, no, nah, I mean, they, it's, a couple, it's a couple hours here and there where I, I try to find time just to wind down. But, uh, but yeah, Netflix, definitely. I just actually finished the, uh, the Unsolved Mysteries yesterday, so that had me locked in for a good two days, so I got to find something else to watch. <laughs> I was going to say, what's next? I mean, now that you got that one knocked out, you're getting one, the yeah. third workout in for the day. I mean, goodness gracious, what are you going to do to balance this thing out a little bit? Right, right. I'd definitely be taking recommendations. Uh, Wes, that's got your name written all over. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, after you get through QB1 and some of these other documentaries that are on there, Jalen, I don't know. I'm watching you know, a lot of stuff about real estate right now, trying to figure I'm too okay. old. Uh, you you don't want to start watching real estate stuff, okay. Jalen. You don't okay. want to mess okay. with that. Um, let's go. Let's go to a real issue that I understand you battle with, um, and that is Coach Collins has got this thing for Waffle House, right? Yes, sir. But I know you've grown up in Atlanta, so Waffle House or Chick Fil A, and is there a mm. struggle that you go through between the two? Um. I wouldn't say it was a big struggle. Uh, I'm a big Waffle House guy, so Coach Collins coming in here and, you know, bringing Waffle House with him and uh, kind of, you know, tying us two together was, you know, a big plus for me. But I'm definitely Waffle House over Chick-fil-A. I don't really think it's too close. Wow. Well, let me help you out, Jalen. <laughs> While you're doing the double dip of working out, here's the beauty of Waffle House and Chick-fil-A. Breakfast, Waffle House. Lunch, 
Okay. Chick fil A. <laughs> and then, okay. you know what? If you need to break up the tie, whichever one treated you the best, you go back for dinner. You just break the whole okay. thing up and you, you like take that. care of like everybody. That. It's all about balance, Jalen. You know, again, so. six, you're 6'3, 220, 1% body fat. Take it from an expert in this department. You can have them okay. both. You can love it all, my man. You can love it all. You know, you I can't like that. wear that. You can't like wear that. that number one look with my body, right? You can wear a right, number right. one with your body. That's the way that thing works, all right? Yes, sir. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. <laughs> By the way, when you go to Waffle House, yeah. if you and I walked into Waffle House together, what, yes, and, and what, what would be the order for you? Um, I'm going. I'm going All Star immediately. I'm going All Star. I'm getting two waffles. Uh, depending on how I feel, I might go chocolate chip or not. Um, but I'm going two waffles. I'm going hash browns. Plain hash browns. I don't really get too crazy with that, like Coach Collins. But uh, I'm gonna get my eggs and my bacon. That's how I'm so gonna you, rock. so you go kind of boring hash browns, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you, you know what that means? When you and I go break bread, you won't be stealing my hash browns because right, I'm going right. to be low, scattered, smothered, covered, man. I'm going to have that thing all over the place. All you know what I'm saying? All of it. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Again, and we, you know, 6'3", 220, 20-inch biceps, 1% body fat. I mean, that's just, I mean, that's scary, man. <laughs> I can't even appreciate fathom that. that. Appreciate it. Yeah, man, you've worked hard, man. Good luck for you on all that. You know what? The best thing about it is, you've also got your degree. And yes, you know what? When you yes, when sir. you get your degree mm -hmm. from Georgia Tech, uh, that's the tip of the cap. I know how hard you work on the field to stay in great shape, but you know what? Getting that degree and doing the work in the classroom is what it's all about. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Jalen, what's uh, what's grad school going to be like? What are you what are you going to try and accomplish in that semester? Um, you know, I'm working with my advisor right now on uh, what grad schools I'm, you know, looking grad programs I'm looking to enter. Um, so, mm -hmm. you know, probably economics, uh, MBA, um, or uh, building construction. Those are kind of my last three that I'm gonna go and pick pick between. Well, that's great. I'm proud of you, man. Mm -hmm. that, again, that's doing the work at Georgia Tech. You get your degree like that, and already sudden looking down the road with all that. By the way, I ask this question to every student athlete. Okay. Uh, and this will be an interesting answer. The hardest class you've had so far at Georgia Tech is what? The hardest class would have to be my finite math class that I took. I believe it was my senior, my junior year summer, going into my senior year. Uh, that what, class was. It's called finite mathematics. And what was so hard about it? Mm -hmm. Um. I just felt like the whole the whole math was just in a different language from the jump. From day one, I just felt like it was all in a, mm -hmm. in a completely different different language that I had to learn, and it was just it was just something that I had to take outside the classroom, and you know study study study, and uh, you know I got through it. But that was definitely that had to be the hardest class. And you can ask a lot of football players on the team here, and they'll probably say the same thing. Interesting. Well, again, congratulations mm -hmm. on all the hard work uh, on the field and, more importantly, like I said, in the classroom. I'm really proud of you. I know your family is, too. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Jalen, I want to confirm finite math. I am with you on finite math, and it didn't have to be at Georgia <laughs> Tech. It could have been at Mighty Elon. Right. Finite math would be the downfall of a lot of people, my man. My goodness. Wait, my wait, goodness. I promise you. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Finite math. Hold Jalen, hold on a second. Yeah. Wes Durham is notorious on this show for having issues with math. And don't let mm -hmm. him sucker you in that he struggled at Elon nope, with finite math. Uh, Struggle. Ma Wes. Wes. Oh, it, man. It wasn't no, that finite class, that math. That class is something serious. Struggle was real. Yeah. It that wasn't class, finite. That class is very serious, Pac. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it was serious. It wasn't finite math. It was just math in general. Like one plus one equals two. Oh. No, it was far from that. It was far from that. I can tell that. you the punt. No, no. Finite math. I'm with Jalen on this, Pac. You, you, no, no. Trust, trust the finite math struggle. It is real. Yeah. Okay? And Jalen's right. They get in there, and the first day or the second day, tell them, Camp, it's a different language. It's not the oh, simple yeah. Oh, yeah. plus subtraction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get in there, you start looking around on day one, like, is this, is this for real? I'll give you some finite mm -hmm. math. Right. That's I, it. I'm going to give you some finite math right here. 
When we walk into Waffle House, it's going to be like this. Waffles times four. That's finite math right there. Right? That's what I'm talking <laughs> okay. about. Okay. Two for you, two okay. for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wish it was like that. Hey, Jay, it I is like that. Uh, yeah, I do too. I... I I think the third time I took finite math, I was wishing it was like that. Thank you. Uh, hey, Jalen, thanks, thanks for the time, my man. We appreciate it. Hope you stay well throughout the season, and we look forward to following you in the fall. Yes, sir. I thank you all for having me.